Okay. Oh, Christ. How are you, my friend? It's been a long time. We never chat together. And this is the first time I meet you in person and chat with you and invited you to my music, uh, live music interview series. And I'm very happy, very excited today to meet you, my friend. Greeting Thank from Iraq. Much love and respect to you. So, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, how was your music? How was your music, your art, the... Everything is... First of all, first of all, I want to tell you that I'm really proud, really proud to talk to you. I love your music and you're such a great artist. Thank Truly you so speaking. much, my friend. I appreciate it. Uh, it's a great honor. Your great words honor. make me so much inspired. Well, the same here. Uh, so. <laughs> okay, okay. You're from France, so, right? Yeah, I'm French. Uh, music, actually, I'm uh, in a creative process. Uh, I used to play in a band before. Maybe well, six okay, months okay, ago. okay. So, music interview with my friend uh, Barry uh, from France. Yeah. And uh, question one, okay, should we start? Yeah. Or yeah, journey absolutely. together? Okay, how you start making electronic music? Can you tell me about your journey on art? How you start the first beginning and your turn? Well, uh, I was pretty young. <laughs> I was pretty young. I started by playing bass and synthesizer when I was 15, something like that. Uh, playing different bands in the south of France, uh, rock and roll music, stoners and stuff like that. And uh, after, after all of that, I went in Paris, uh, being an actor, comedian, <laughs> trying at least. And uh, I met some musicians, so music was in my van, was in my blood. So I play music again. And uh, kind of few hard rock fusion band, dark rock band, and stuff. Punk rock. And, uh, sorry. Punk rock. Yeah, kind of, kind of. We, we we may say punk rock bands. And then I fell in love with electronic music. Uh, I always love electronic music, always, but didn't play before. So my last band I was playing with, Victor Scherer, was a steampunk band. And I used to, to run the keys, playing keys and computers, samplers and stuff. And with I your bring- gears, a, making the music with your gears. Yeah, absolutely. And I bring some kind of industrial touch, something arch electronic, you know, noisy and dirty. And this is what I like. In, electronic music. I like everything different and weird. So now we are, I have my own, own studio, uh, all my synthesizers and gears and everything. It's messy, but you can see oh, some. Oh, <laughs> yeah. wow, man, wow. It's kind of messy, so excuse me. But I'm proud of you. Is that an Avation it... circuit? Sorry? I mean, is that the innovation circuit? You used the innovation circuit? I mean, the sampler and sequencer. Ah, uh, uh, it's... Uh, I mean, innovation circuit. Uh, no, no, it, it's... Uh, I, I don't know if I understand what, what you asked me, but it's only, you know, vodka and synthesizers and everything is white. Vol vodka drum machine, right? Yeah, that's it. And uh, you used maybe uh, that's a call, uh, uh, sorry, innovation circuit. That is an innovation circuit. Oh, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Innovation first, circuit, midi, sam gear. midi yeah. sampler and sequencer. You have a, that's a great that's studio, it. good gears, and uh, I'm yeah. proud of you, my friend. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy today. To chat with Thank you in person, I'll meet you and uh, make uh, or uh, nice conversation. Okay. As you can see, I am a bit messy as a guy. <laughs> it's like, but I try to do my best. <laughs> well done, my friend. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Should we start the next question? John? Yeah. Okay. 
So what made you want to become a musician? Oh, uh, I, I would say who make me want it. Uh, I'm a huge fan of David Bowie. Uh, he's a kind David. of God to me. Yeah. It's, um, he's a God, to be honest, yeah. David Bowie. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And the first time I saw this guy, I say, oh, Jesus, I, I want to be like him. This is One the life I want. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He's iconic. Wanna... He's an iconic person. I love him so much. Much love and respect to him. It's amazing. Uh, he dies so in a couple of years. Yeah. And, uh, and that's it. I, I was maybe 15 and I saw this guy made up, uh, dressed like women. And I was like, oh, my God. It was in the 80s, in the 80s. So it was surprising everybody. And I, I fell in love with this guy. I was, I found my way. So I wanted to be a musician, but I'm not someone, uh, uh, I don't like study. I don't like working my ass off to learn something. I love to learn. I love, I love it. I have tons of books, as you can see in my studio, uh, but I don't like school. I don't like when it's too too much authority and too much straightness. You like to study by on yourself, right? That's it. That's it. Absolutely. So this is how I play music. Uh, I learn bass when I need bass. I learn keys when I need keys. Uh, I you do sing. everything you want. You do everything you want. I don't play guitar, so I would love to, but too much work. And I yes, don't play piano. Need, uh, a lot of training, uh, a lot yeah. of years. That's it. Much so work, yes. this is this is what brings me to music. In fact, David Bowie and synthesizer. Uh, I think synthesizer are magical instruments. Yes, it's a magical instrument. You're right. Yeah. Specialty, the hardware synthesizer. Absolutely, yeah. I As like the hardware it. synthesizer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so another question? Yeah. Pleasure. Okay, what inspired you and what makes you want to keep producing music? Life inspired me. Uh, everything inspired me. Uh, I, I'm kind of, uh, I'm not somebody very social. Uh, I don't go outside. I don't go in bar or restaurants. Uh, I don't like great cars and I don't need uh, tons of money. Uh, you just need I a love... computer and uh, some of the plugins That's for it. making the music. That's it. That's it. So simple. My, my wife used to say I'm kind of bear. <laughs> I'm an animal. I live in my cave. And that's it. That's true. Uh, so I'm inspired by kids. I love kids. I'm inspired by uh, war, I hate war. Uh, I'm inspired by injustice. I hate it. Uh, I hate what's going on in, what's going on in hierarchy. I hate what's going on in Ukraine. I hate what's going on in uh, Middle East. You know what I mean? There's, Everything brings you love me... freedom. You love freedom. You love open minds yeah, yeah, and be yeah, free. Yeah. Absolutely, it, it, it's a, uh, it's a. Um, Understand. It drives me. It drives me really. Uh, I hate authority. I really hate it. I, I think we can live together. I, I'm, I hate racism at a point you can't imagine. I hate it. Uh, I hate all these homophobic morons and. Everything that is against freedom is something that moves me, something that gives me willing of playing. You music. hate everything against freedom. That's it. Yes. Well. <laughs> That's it. But I, I can appreciate everybody, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't care the color of someone, I don't care his religion, I don't care. Uh, we, we, we fuck. I don't care all this crapness. What matters to me is what the guy do, what the people do, the art. And uh, for me, it's it, it's a it's a fuel. It's an uh, it's a motor to create. 
Yes, you're right. Yeah. Okay, another question. What kind yeah. of music gear you used to produce the music? What kind of, oh, gears. Uh, gears, yes, uh, gears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna show it. It will be... I'm excited. <laughs> so, uh, this is my uh, my little toolbox when I have some ideas. Toolbox, innovation circuit. Absolutely, innovation circuit. Here, uh, this is my favorite effect. It's spread on uh, Yamaha over there. Okay. Yamaha. You, you used the KRK monitor, right? Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, and my computer. Computer is... Uh, the architecture, uh, it's, uh, I'm playing live inside, Ableton Live. So I have an idea, I try to make it with it. And then Good. after, I go in live. Good. Uh, when I need special sounds, I have my keys here. Uh, System 1, Roland. I know it, yes. Synthesizer. Roland, Oop, sorry. You yeah, have the uh, drum machine, Roland, maybe uh, 8S, yeah. right, 8S? I mean, 8S, yeah. Roland, yeah. TRS, TRS. Yeah. TRS. Yeah. System 1, and oh, hold yeah. all Roland SH201. Good, you have bass and guitar. Yeah, well, bass I and see guitar. you are a collector, maybe a music and collector. No, yeah. not really, not really. It's because the sound uh, uh, pips me. Uh, Good job, my friend. You have a great studio. Machine. Now I'm I'm using a lot machine with a, with a keyboard. It's a machine suit. Uh, complete control machine, and this is my old sampler. It's oh. a SP five five five. This one. Uh, it's an old sampler, but the sound is just so hot, so warm. It's marvelous. Actually, I really like Roland gears. It's most of my most of my studio is with Roland gear, and then I have some uh, Volca here uh, for special sounds. It's when when I need a, a sound that I can have with a machine, I do it with a hardware gear. Well done, well done, well done. This is how I work. <laughs> you have a great collection of gears and. Uh... Thank you. It's not. It's not a lot. I know a lot of people who have very much, but it's enough for me. It's good for me. And, I understand. Uh, I understand. You did well. You did well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Another question, my friend. Yeah. Who's your favorite artist or person you look up in the industry? My favorite uh, artist. The first one, David Bowie, of course. <laughs> yeah. David Bowie, uh, Gary Newman. Oh. I love this guy. Gary Newman is is just God. like uh, a person from another planet. With That's his it. Music That's with his it. style. Absolutely. Wow. Gary Newman is. And uh, talking about bands, I would say Bauhaus, Virgin Prunes. Virgin Prunes is a major influence to me. Uh, and tons of. Tons of bands like Prodigy, uh, Klaus Schulz. Uh, I'm not a fan. I, I, I love music in general. So major above all, David Bowie uh, and Brian Eno. Brian Eno. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I love him. The man who great ambient music and uh, oh, the Jesus. first one. He's yeah, iconic yeah. man. He's iconic. Absolutely. Iconic ambient music. Oh, ambient music, it's oh my god, and uh, so yeah, Bowie, you know, absolutely above Gary Norman, Gary Norman, and yeah, Gary Norman, yeah, Brian Eno, Brian Eno, yeah, yeah, wow. okay, <laughs> major, major. <laughs> well, another question, my friend, uh, yeah, so are there any artists that you draw inspiration from? If so, who and what sort of music? Inspiration come 
all kind of music, I would say. Actually, actually, I'm listening a lot uh, to a, an English band called Three Ford Mods. You must, you must listen to this band if you have the, the opportunity. Three Ford Mods. It's two guys. Can you send me some links when we finish the, our interview about this band? You say it to me. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what can uh, uh, actually? Uh, actually, I'm listening a lot, a lot to uh, '80s music. <laughs> I listen to a lot of 80s music, gothic music. Uh, it's a band from Los Angeles. Uh, it's called Choro God. Alf. It's like dark wave, electro, 80s. Uh, very interesting. So that's it. That's my main, main influence, actually, in music. Great. Okay. Um, another question. What is your creative process like? Your creative process, your circle of creativity. Uh, so, you will understand. I show you my home studio. Of course. I have everything around me. Yes. So, most of the time, most of the time, I need to write because I'm a writer too. I need to write. Uh, ideas, story, whatever. I need to so write. You tell me, you write documentaries and write books. Uh. I, yeah, yeah. I try. I, I, I'm a writer for a living. Uh, I'm a copywriter. Copywriter for enterprises and stuff. This is what I do for a living. Good but job. writing, yeah, writing is a is in my musical process too. I need to to write. So your process to creativity. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Yeah. Okay. That's it. It, it. It's all mixed. You know what I mean. Sometimes it's a it's a picture. Sometimes it's something I wrote. But it brings an idea. When I have this idea, I start to work it on my innovation circuit uh, or on my computer, straight with uh, Ableton Live or machine, and I bring uh, the beat. And a major sound. It can be a noise, it can be a voice, it can be whatever. So, what uh, is your music genre at play? Uh, Ambient, rock, metal? I would say dark electro. Dark electro. Uh, I, I, I like what is dark, what is melancholic. Uh, so it's kind of dark ambient, but some dark and melancholic stuff. Yeah, that's it. This is my m major work. This is what I like to do. And uh, so I start with the sound a bit, and then after I built the structure, uh, most of the time with the bass, you saw, I have a crappy bass, but it's my bass. Uh, and I use some effects with the bass, and I have an Ebo. Uh, it's a uh, for guitar, you use the for guitar. Yeah, that's it. For that's guitar, it. and yeah. use it on the bass. Yeah. And on the bass, it looks like a theremin. Like, wee, wee. I like the theremin. <laughs> yeah. Healing machine, uh, you use without hand to just move your fingers. That's it. And just that's it. So, some weirdy sounds. Yeah, it's. Uh, uh, I, I will say in English, uh, pads. It gives weird pads. A lot of pads, but yes. I see it on is, YouTube. I'm, I make a lot of research on this um, yeah. machine. Mm -mm. Theremin, great instrument. So this is my way, my way of create. <laughs> this is it. Okay. Last question, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, what is the process you go through in finding the perfect tone? Do you study with courses, learn online, or just experiment? Oh, I just experiment. <laughs> just like me, a lot of sound I created yeah. by the experiments. I try it. If I have an idea of doing something, I try it and I see what, what where it brings me. But uh, 
I, I'm not I'm not someone who can study something. I don't know why, but I need to do. <laughs> I need to do things and I need to experiment. So you make music by your own. No one teach you. No one. No, no okay. never. Never. Just I should. by your own. Just by my own. But I don't say it's the best way. This is my way, but I don't say it's good. Uh, I'm not a great musician. Just enjoy, all. enjoy the process. Just enjoy that's the it. process. That's, that's it. it. That's as it. long as I can create, it's perfect. You can do anything. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't need to be. Uh, I don't need to be uh, Eric Satie or <laughs> no, no, a, no, a guitar no. master or whatever. No, uh, just enjoy the process. That's it. You love that's music. It. You love art. Just making art, making beats, making music. That's it. Enjoy the process. I'm very happy today to meet you. Anyway, thanks for everything, my friend. For a great interview, great conversation with you. I'm very happy to meet you in person. You so and uh, I wish in the future maybe we can make music together, live, share yeah. it together. And with big pleasure. I'm looking forward to do that in the future. Why not? I, I will. I would love. Man, you are. You are. You are worse than I am. <laughs> so no, no, no. no I am the greatest. You are the greatest. You are the greatest. You're the greatest. Oh, I'm no, no. very honored to meet you today, my friend. Oh, yeah, thank you so much for everything, for your time, chatting with me, uh, accepting to make an interview with me, and uh, see you around. All Please. the best. Much love and respect to you, my friend. Love you. Greeting from Iraq, and uh, see you so around. Much. Call me whenever you want. Call me. I'll be there. Thank you so much, my friend.